I'm going to reconsider this line after all because I thought. Hey, it's Adea. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be going through some new makeup that I got from Sephora. I have this whole bag of goodies and I can't wait to get into it and show you guys what it is that I got. I have some skincare products, I have some makeup that I want to try. Let's get into the video. We are starting off with the first product which is the new Intense Hydrating Serum with Green Tea Seed from Innisfree. This launched within the last two or so weeks. The reason I got this one is because this is my usual go-to moisturizer for the fall. I was running low on it, so I went in to pick this up. I happened to come across this serum. So it says to use two to three pumps and then apply over the face and the neck after cleansing and then pat for better absorption. We're gonna try that. Oh, okay, so it's a different texture than what I thought. I thought it would have been cream-like like this serums aren't always this liquidy so two pumps it does have that green tea smell to it so now we're going in with a third it's not as revolutionary as when i tried the cream but i mean it's serving its purpose i don't think it's overly hydrating i know it says intensive but um i'm not gonna agree that off the bat i'm feeling the hydration I'm gonna follow up with the next product. Something else that I really wanted to try, which is the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is an instant turnaround moisturizer. It's kind of going with what I see. It doesn't really have much of a fragrance in comparison to this so far. This cream is an anti-aging moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. And it also works well as a base for your makeup so so far i've grabbed like two scoops of this I have a very mild scent but it's almost powdery fresh that's really nice and i'm enjoying how it feels over the skin because it is a makeup primer i'm not going to go in with the additional step of prime i'm going to put some makeup on and then maybe i'll come in and give you guys a close-up this next product is from milk makeup and this is going to be the bionic blush in the shade fly now i am very interested to see how this plays out because this is what it looks like i'm just interested to see what the shade is gonna look like on me and we're gonna do first impressions off the bat it's oily so let's try this again did not read the package so i don't know if you're supposed to shake it before you use it doesn't say anything about shaking it just says to gently squeeze Oh my gosh, it messed up already. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Looks like it has a more rich pigment in comparison to what we were seeing before. Um, so I would say be very careful with this. I don't think this was the best packaging for this product. But I mean, we're going to see how it applies. So I'm going to use a brush. Mm, can't really see anything. Uh, I hope I don't regret this. Pigment is there. Now let's see what it blends out to be. The color is not bad. It's standing out just enough on my skin. There's no like way to really gauge how much you're gonna apply. So, you know, like, let me just put my foundation on top of it. Little hack. So now it looks as skin-like as I guess it could possibly look. I'm gonna move on and set my face and then do a little bit of eye makeup. We're gonna move into the next product, which is from Rare Beauty. And this one is called the Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara and it's in the shade Black. This is pretty much said to give you all the benefits of a mascara. So give you length, longevity, curl, volume, all that good stuff without putting any sort of um you know additional product on my face without using an eyelash curler we're gonna go in and see what one coat will do i'm seeing a bit of definition already and i haven't even gone in really and truly yet that's typically what one coat of mascara 
looks like for me. Is there a difference? It's getting very much something. This did not lie. It definitely gave us a curl. Definitely lengthened. Not seeing as much volume, but the definition is there. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the most defined my bottom lashes have looked with the mascara. Which means I'm definitely not using the right ones. I see myself mostly using this as a bottom lash mascara. Not necessarily for the top because I do tend to wear false lashes. This is what a side by side comparison of it looks like. The next thing that we're going to go into is something that I have never tried before. So please don't come for me. It isn't exactly a new product but it's new to me. And... The product is Lily Lashes. I have never tried these a day in my life. And the reason I never tried them is because when they were really popular, I just wasn't living here. So it's not something I ever got on board with. I was able to buy one for full price and get the other one for half off or buy one, get one free. Something to that extent, or they were both discounted. I really do not remember what the promotion was, but I ended up picking up both of them. I'm over here thinking, yay, I got the Miami style. I thought I was wrong. I picked up two Mykonos. So I'm going to be trying the light on this eye and trying the regular version on this eye. So, y'all wasn't going to tell me that these lashes are just that girl. Cool. No hair feelings. None. Mm -mm. You can see a difference between the light and the original. I could have definitely pulled this one back just a little bit more. But I like the fact that they are already the size that they need to be for my eye shape as well as the band isn't too thick it doesn't feel too heavy so i really like that i'm definitely gonna be taking this one off because you know it's a little it's a little much it's a little much for the for the video that we're filming this one is said to be a sexy round vegan 3d lash style that delivers the optimal level of drama adding density fullness and ultra bold length because i mean we got the same eye going on didn't change nothing about my eyes um and it looks like we're going to two different places so on this side this is the light um it's supposed to be a semi-natural round lash style adding mild density with balance of volume and length so i'm definitely feeling this like honestly i like the fact that they have it in the original as well as the light because if you wanted to keep the same style but not necessarily be overdressed to a function you could just quickly swap out your lashes like this is literally day and night i'm not sure what other styles i want to try besides miami so if you have a recommendation be sure to let me know down below because it's kind of giving what it was supposed to give the last feature of the day is going to be the gloss bomb heat first i'm not gonna lie i didn't see it and think oh my gosh i got to have this after seeing the new shades launch i was like mm -hmm. i'm gonna reconsider this line after all because they're really pretty if you guys know anything about me i have some comparisons i have the original gloss bomb as well as the gloss bomb cream what is the gloss bomb heat if you're anything like me that was a question you had which is probably why you were hesitant and it's not from the lack of them advertising what it does i just i didn't really get it the differences are this so before i try it on let me just get into the educational aspect so we can get into the visual part of this video so the gloss balm heat is going to be a shimmer free lip luminizer and plumper that delivers a hint of tint for fuller looking lips then when we go into the gloss balm cream which is this bad boy right here um this one is going to be the pure creamy color of the original gloss balm and it gives you an incredible shine that leaves your lips looking smoother and more voluminous. So this could give you anything between medium to full coverage as well as color. And then 
we have the original gloss balm which is this beauty right here it is a hydrating lip gloss that is not sticky and it is described as explosive shine that feels as good as it looks i'm not really a lip plumber type person so that's why i was gonna skip out on this but when i saw the colors that it came out with and the fact that it had some of the cult favorites i was really here for it so we're gonna be trying finally the gloss bomb heat this is the one that they launched last month pretty much like the beginning of august if i'm not mistaken let's see yes so it has that like nice runny texture but not runny in a negative way it literally smells like cherries but i'm very surprised that unlike the gloss bombs previously it doesn't have that like you know peach vanilla scent i'm interested to find out what the other fragrances are going to be for the other ones since there was no marketing that says okay it smells like cherry blossom it smells like lavender etc we're gonna start off with the first shade which is called hot cherry so i thought the color would have been a bit more vibrant i'm gonna try it again I don't know what my original quote unquote lips looked like before this, but I'm, 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 I'm kind of impressed. Like, remember that rollerball we used to use back in like 2005? Mm hmm. When we was in our room saying, I can see my dragon. Yeah, remember, remember those rollerballs? Yeah, so that's that's kind of what this is giving, you know, a little, a little, a little hints of color you know, and a bit of plumpness. I like the fact that it is high shine. It's not sticky. Not the biggest fan of the fact that it has a cherry smell. Ooh, okay, there's a little bit of tingling going on. The tingle kind of just creeps up on you. If you over exfoliate your lips before trying this on, I don't think this is gonna end well for you. Let's get a little swatch. Cause you all know I love my swatches. Now we're gonna move on to number two, which is called Fussy Heat. So for Fussy, we have Heat, Cream, and Gloss Balm. They are not completely the same color. I'm going to swatch them on my hand instead of on my lips. So we have four colors. So let's try like this. So this is shade number two. This is Fussy Heat, Fussy Cream, and Fussy The Gloss Balm. So they are not the same color. A little disappointing. Swatching the heat on my lips, cause that's what we're here for. We're here to talk about the new new. This one smells minty. The third one is gonna be Fenty Glow. And this one comes in a gloss balm heat as well as a gloss balm. They didn't make one in the cream. I think the one that would be closest would be Honey Waffles. This one right here, uh, heat. Sorry. This one is the gloss balm. So again, they're not completely the same color, but I mean, the concept was there. So for this one, because I only have two shades, I'm going to do half of my lip with the heat and the other half with the gloss balm. Definitely a different level of shine. Like the gloss balm is definitely the most intense shine. But this one just gives you like a wet look that I am kind of more here for. What I would do probably to avoid the plumping effect of it would be to put the gloss balm down first and then put the plumper over it. That way I kind of get both effects. The final one is called Hot Chocolate Heat. So if you guys remember, they did come out with a hot chocolate gloss balm. And when I tell you I had such a hard time finding this at first, but once I found it, I was just like, got to have it. In a sense, these are like the most similar, but we're gonna see for real, for real, how similar they really are. So this one is the heat, so pretty. I feel like of all the heats, it's the one I see the most. And then this one is the gloss bomb. Gloss bomb, original gloss bomb heat. 
is the wet lip look for me. I thought hot chocolate was pretty, but this one, this one, I thought the gloss bomb was pretty, but this one, mm -mm. she made her look like nothing. I could see myself wearing this definitely throughout the fall. Like, I know that's where we're gonna end up with this color. And to try out putting the gloss bomb first, cause I don't know if you could tell by the, you know, bit of plumpness on this side of my lip, but um, my lips definitely need some soothing. I know I do things like I'm a champ, but like, it was becoming a little uncomfortable. Yes, yeah, so I'm just soothing my lips with the original gloss bomb. And then we're gonna put the heat on top. Just as a little bit of a protective barrier, you know? Keep it right in the center of my lip. Who could talk to me? If you guys plan to pick up any of these products, are you guys trying the gloss bomb heat? Are you skipping out on it? Did this little hack, you know, help you out a little? Because, I mean, I don't feel the tingle, but you can see the plumpness. So my overall thoughts on the products that I tried, there are very few things I was disappointed by. Um, I cannot wait to try out this serum with the moisturizer. I definitely will be trying this a lot more, but layered together just for a little bit of extra hydration i cannot wait to pair this with my usual mascara to see what my bottom lashes are gonna look like because i've been feeding for the longest to have some juicy bottom lashes because i mean more or less i always have top lashes on so for the bottom i just i just wanted to give what it was supposed to give how could i forget, how could i forget the lashes so in terms of the lashes <clears throat> let's get into that in terms of the lashes um y'all need to put me on to the other styles period because i need to have experiences like this again um i could definitely see this becoming my go-to lashes for the fall especially when i want to do like a mild smoky moment i see that working for me very well in terms of the gloss bomb heats um the lip plumping effect is a little much for me but pairing it with the original gloss bomb does much better job it's been about two minutes since i've had it on and definitely the in the intensity of the heat is much less in comparison to when i just put it straight onto my lips but then again you know i'm not really a lip plumber girl i'm not sure how it's supposed to feel I experience a bit of discomfort with it but that's only because i'm not accustomed to it but um yeah i, I made it work and I'm going to be leaving you guys a video recommendation right here and right here. And then, of course, ask you guys to come right over here and subscribe. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh.